Buru Boya Boche Che. Hello, my peoples. Um, this will be my second video documenting my journey through E5. And um, today I would like to talk about the use of Cascadia and how I use it. Now, I'm still learning, you know, a lot more uses for Cascadia, also known as a phone, uh, you know, powder crushed eggshells that you buy from the Botanicals. Usually, you know, you get them a quarter piece, four or four dollars. Well, <clears throat> I use the phone to, because uh, I live in an apartment, at the front of my doors, you know, I crush it and I say a prayer. And what it does is keeps a lot of the negative energy, negative spirits, whatever else, out of my apartment. Well, I live in an apartment complex that is very good on maintenance. You know, they, they come in, they check on the apartment, make sure everything is going well. Um, they come in and out, they repair, they do a lot of preventive maintenance and everything else. So my apartment building is actually, you know, people coming in out of my apartment. So I put the phone on, on the ground, you know, in front of my apartment, my front door of my apartment, just to keep negative energy out and everything else. I'm telling you, when I say a phone is like a Venus flytrap, it snares a lot of bogus people that try to come in here, even though they, they are workers that are working on an apartment, but they have very negative energy or negative intent. You know, because my goon is in here, my orishas are in here, so they, you know, they're not playing that mess. <laughs> so, case in point, a couple weeks ago, well, a few weeks ago, not a couple, I'm sorry, I had a, you know, a guy who works in the apartment management. I was smudging my house down right before I was doing the ceremony. A lot of, you know, with the, with the, it's on top of my head right now, good Lord, I can't think, uh, <laughs> with the sage, I'm sorry. Because I just, um, I just finished doing my warriors and refreshed my bovida. So I staged my house down, whatever, and I knew it was too much smoke, and ended up, you know, the, the fire alarm went off. So long story short, you know, I get most of the smoke out before I get down to work, because even I knew it was way too much, and for some reason, I just kept staging and staging, whatever. So the first group of workers come in, no problem. They can check out the apartment, you know, to make sure there ain't no real fire going on. So they leave, because we got security and everything else in the building. Like I said, it's a very good apartment building. So another worker comes up to double check. He stops at the front door. He doesn't even want to enter the apartment. And that's because whatever that's on him, they, their food and my spirits are not letting him enter at all. So he's just looking through the front door. He's saying everything is good and he's walking away. Mind you, the other two people who walk in had no problems walking in. They was like greeted with like open arms. They came in, they did they did, they did the walk to make sure ain't nothing lit on fire, ain't nothing blowing up, whatever. Then they walked out, they gave me a great day. The next guy who comes in about 10 minutes later, he doesn't even get past the front door. So I say this is because Cascadia can work a lot of ways that you don't even realize how it works. You know, you, you can use it as offerings. You can use this protection. There's a lot of many things that, a lot of universal things that Cascadia is used for in this religion. So I'm just giving you my little story about how Cascadia stops a lot of people from entering my domain with negative influence or very negative energy. Because that's the, he's not just the only person I've seen it happen to. I said in my Fajino Maya before that I seen plenty of people because you know this apartment building is very open to a lot of people. Stop at the at the threshold of my apartment. They don't even come in because the way the Cascadia works. They can't even boom stops. It's like a it's like a flat trap, like a Venus flat trap. It just stops they stops they butt right there on the tracks. Boom, shut it down. You can't even come in. My my goons are telling you, my leash is saying, Oh hell no. Nah. You know, I mean, Cascadia is saying, look, you, you can't even step your foot past it. They don't even go past it, the part of the Cascadia where, because there's a lot of it on the ground. And it's, they barely can go past the, the first part before they got to deal with the rest of my goons and the audacious I see here. So that's just my little story to give you about a phone and how I can work with you. Just those little steps of saying a prayer while you're sprinkling them in front of your passageways of your doors, you know, and then, you know, you sage your house a little bit goes a lot of goes a long way uh you know especially for people who are like me in this faith that gets a lot of spirit and everything else so just let you know that it's a good it's only a dollar it's a great investment stack up on them they're worth it especially when you start noticing how people come in they can't even get past the front door you know, especially when your goons your orishas is on point and then that that cascadia boom and that wash us doing them, you know, go and fucking smack them in the face to get the hell away from you, <laughs> and then they roll off. So other than that, that's my story.
Bruno Boye Bocha Cherim. Y'all have a great week.